Ready? All right. Uh, Denny, five under today. Uh, excellent round if we can get some comments. Yeah, I played really, really solid today. Um, I knew it was going to be a battle. Um, my body wasn't moving well yesterday. I think the heat kind of took me by surprise uh, yesterday. Um, just felt terrible yesterday, honestly. Didn't drive it in the fairway. Really, actually fought hard to just shoot one over yesterday. So um, I knew it was going to be a battle today coming out. I came out with a just a really energetic and good mindset today. Um, and I think that's a big part of why I played well today. I don't, there's not much quitting me. And uh, I was a little disappointed after yesterday, but um, I played a really, really good round of golf today. I think it was like heat exhaustion yesterday. Like, how'd you feel? Yeah, it was re it's been really nice all week. Um, it's been really nice. And then yesterday just kind of caught me by surprise. I, I sweat a lot. Um, you know, Memphis was good prep for me last week, but yesterday kind of took me by surprise. I just don't think I ate enough on the course and um, probably just didn't quite drink enough, and I just felt a little off yesterday. Um, so I prepared myself last night and this morning and throughout the round. Uh, my caddy, Derek, and I, we did a really good job of just staying hydrated and making sure I was eating something every few holes, and um, might have been the difference today. Is that kind of frustrating knowing how significant each of these rounds are to have a day where you're kind of battling? Um, yeah, but I also took a lot of positives from, from yesterday. Um, I could have shot probably three to six over very easily, um, and I, I didn't let myself do that. I hung in there tough and put together a somewhat respectable round for how poorly I felt like I played. The only thing we've heard all week is that this is a bomber's golf course and you got to fly at 3.30 in order to be able to score well. Why do you think you've been able to have so much success this week? Um, I mean, I've played well on big golf courses all year. Um, look at Memorial, I played well there. That's a big bomber, ball striker golf course. Um, <laughs> U.S. Open, I was right there in the mix. Um, now, obviously, that wasn't the longest of, of courses, but I just I have a good handle on how to play really difficult golf courses. Um, and found a nice key this morning. Um, hit it, hit it well on Thursday. Did not hit it well yesterday. Um, and I just had a really free mindset today. Drove it really well. Was just kind of seeing my pictures off the tee and just letting the driver go. And um, that was I was able to hit some nice iron and wedge shots um, after that. So and obviously my putter kept me in it today. I made a lot of nice saves in the middle of the round, early in the round. Um, so you got to do a little bit of everything around here. It's a it's a heck of a test to go off. What was the key you found? What's that? What was the key you found, you said? Um, I don't want to share all my secrets with you. Come on, Al. <laughs> I'm hurt. Uh, just uh, one of the keys that I, you know, I, I always kind of go back to. Um, just kind of something I, I do in my body. Noth nothing related to what I'm thinking about, what the club's doing, something that I, that I do with my body. I'm not going to be able to steal it now. No, nah, you can't. <laughs> I, uh, hi, I had a chance to play, walk with your family today as, as you played. And when you made your putt on 10 to save par, your dad said it was the kind of putt that uh, is a glue that keeps the round together. Yeah, that was, uh, he, he, said it, he said it about right. That was, that was a nice one. Um, that, that, I was kind of drove it into the face of a bunker there. Um, was never really in the hole um, until I made that, that nice putt. It's the same as somebody striping it down the middle and hitting it at 10 feet and missing. We made the same score. Um, so, yeah, that, that was a, a nice little kind of boost um i did bogey the next hole that was my only bogey of the day but then i bounced right back i had a nice positive attitude after that and um just kind of kept my mindset didn't let anything really bother me today great thank you yeah teddy how have, how have you approached this week this is kind of your first bubble opportunity you know have you been checking the standings have you just been kind of keeping your head down and not paying attention to uh, I'm just coming out trying to win a golf tournament i've been close for a while now so um i think that's that mindset has, has worked well for me. Um, I know I need to have a good finish, but winning is a pretty good finish too. If someone asked you, why has this year been your best yet? What would you say? Um, I, I, you know, I'm starting to pick up a little speed. I'm, I'm starting to, to find it with the driver um, more so than, than, you know, I was always a decent driver of the ball for, for average length, but now I feel like I'm climbing slightly and, and maybe a little more accurate than I used to be in my, my first few years on tour. Uh, my, my wedge play has been a little streaky, but for the most part, it's been on the better side. Um, I, I think I have a much better understanding of flighting shots, um, windows, trajectory, spin. Um, I'm, I'm learning a lot 
a lot more. Uh, my ball striking with the irons has been really good. Um, my coach and I, Brian Cregan, have put on a lot of work over the last year and a half. Um, we've worked really hard to try and get my ball striking up to, you know, a, a top tier player. Um, it's not quite there, but it's gotten a lot better than it, than what it used to be. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Dan.